hey guys welcome back to my kitchen in today's video i'll be showing you just how to blanch your vegetable aka a four the first thing you want to do is to pluck off all the leaves and the soft stem of the green amaranth yes green amaranth is the name the english name for the green vegetable it's also called tete by the yoruba speaking part of nigeria when you are plucking make sure you don't include the seeds okay the seeds actually make your soup very bitter and you know there's this taste it gives the soup and you would not love it so the best thing to do is for you to just take it out as seen in this video and set it aside if you want to plant small green amaranth why not you can just dry this and that is your seeds okay just know that as i'm plucking these vegetables i had already set some water on the cooker to boil that's the water we'll be using to blanch these green vegetables Another tip I would like to share with you is the fact that you have to pluck your vegetables one after the other. Don't ever pluck in a bunch so as not to pluck weed alongside your green amaranth. Here is my hard stem, I'm going to throw them away and here are the seeds. If you want to plant, why not just dry it and when they are dry, those are your seeds. The next thing for us to do is to wash our vegetables. I washed mine with some vinegar. If you have salt, it works perfectly well also. Another tip I use is the fact that I don't cut my veggies before washing, okay? I wash them first of all before cutting so as not to cut up worms and some other parasites that follow the veggies home with you, okay? So just note this and this I washed it severally, okay? Now my green amaranth is set for blanching. I added them into a bowl and then proceeded to add in boiling water. Okay, at this point you have to do everything very fast because you don't want your veggies to become too soft in the hot water. All right, you have to just quickly toss it around and then sieve it immediately. After sieving, you just want to shock it with some room temperature water. If you have ice cubes, why not? Or if you have room water temperature this is just perfect and you just make sure the cooking process stops immediately now blanched vegetables keep well in the freezer so if you are not using this now just squeeze out the water and keep in the freezer you can keep your ziplock you can keep your rubber plate all well and good okay you see the bright colors coming out when you blanch vegetables the green comes out better than when you don't blanch it so let me know do you blanch your vegetables can you let me know in the comment section i'll be waiting to read from you thanks for always watching my videos god bless you so much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you are watching from youtube thank you all so much see you in my next video bye -ya.